Welcome back over 50 fans. Today I'm bringing you my Kansas City Chiefs dispatch for May 18th, 2021. Kansas City Chiefs signed two new players today. It may or may not get uh, very much media coverage. So I thought I'd cover it here for you. So if you're perusing YouTube, looking for your Chiefs news, you can get it here short and sweet real quick. Have some statistical data for you so you can know a little bit about these guys and see what they have or have not done in the NFL. As in this case, one player has played in the NFL, the other player has not. So the two new signings are uh, Darius Fountain, a wide receiver from the Colts. He was uh, drafted in the 2018 NFL draft, round five, pick 159. And Manny Patterson, he was a defensive back at Maine, uh, went undrafted in 2020 and spent the 2020 season bouncing around from a couple, couple different practice squads. And I'll talk about those in a second. But first, I'd like to talk about Darius Fountain. Played at Northern Iowa in 2017. As you can see, 943 receiving yards, 12 touchdowns. Not bad production. Pretty decent. Was invited to the Shrine Bowl and named offensive MVP. But surprisingly, did not get an invite to the Combine. So it makes you kind of wonder about that. Well, um, career numbers with the Colts, not much there. Two receptions, 23 yards, no touchdowns. So getting kind of a guy who's not proven might be able to uh, uh, catch on with the Chiefs. The Chiefs might be able to, um, you know, catch lightning in a bottle or find a diamond in the rough, so to speak. Move myself up out of the way there. Moving on to Manny Patterson. He went undrafted in 2020, as I said. He was signed by the Washington football team to their practice squad. He was released midseason and finished the season on the Houston Texans practice squad. At the University of Maine, played four years, so he's got some college experience. 2019, 29 tackles, five pass breakups. 2018, 27 tackles, 15 pass breakups, one INT. That would be the only INT he ever had in college. 2017, 14 tackles, 17 pass breakups. And 2016, 23 tackles, 10 pass breakups. So you're getting a guy that around about 21 tackles a season and say maybe eight or nine pass breakups. So what will he have? as value to the NFL, who knows? Um, maybe he picked up some stuff on the practice squads that he was on last year with the Washington football team and the Texans. Um, so maybe he's able to uh, make an impact with the Chiefs, only time will tell. So the Chiefs, in order to make these two signs or signees or to sign these two players, they had to get rid of two players. So they released the just recently signed Jalen McLean Sapp. Uh, I believe he was out of Marshall, defensive back. And Tajay Sharp's contract was terminated. So that's all I have for you guys. Just short and sweet, but wanted to give you guys some information about the latest Chiefs moves. Please remember, comment on the video. I'm open to hearing what you have to say. Please subscribe to my channel. It would help me grow. Please like this video, share this video, ring the bell for notifications. And I will talk to you next time. So have a good one.